I hope you're reading my lips. Oh, here we go. Hey, everyone. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm extremely... Uh, again, winging it. Um, All right, so you want to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> so as I was saying, um, one of my favorite video games is Kingdom Hearts because of the world-building aspect. It was so amazing to see all the characters' development over time. The story was very in-depth and interesting, and I really liked how they incorporated Disney characters without it being too uh, overwhelming, I suppose, to the game. Now... In regards to it, there's certain games that really stand out to me visually, and one of them is Overwatch. Um, I've actually only played it once, and I found it visually stunning. Like, all the characters are amazing. All the new skin packs, all that kind of stuff really is super cool. My favorite characters are Genji and Hanzo. I actually got into the game after I saw the short film, uh, Dragons. I was That was really cool. I was Man, Blizzard really killed it with that one. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I saw that they were doing the Year of the Dog skin pack, and then I also saw... That uh, Kingdom Hearts, re you know, Square Enix released a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer um, showing off like the Monsters Inc. world, all kinds of things like that. So I was really excited. I thought it might be a cool subject for today's drawing mashup to try and see what an Overwatch character would look like in the world of Kingdom Hearts um, as if they belong there. So I made some posts. They were a little last minute and, uh, you know, so totally understand there wasn't a whole lot of comments or feedback on it just yet. But we did get kind of the most votes for D.Va. Um, and I know she's a pretty popular character, so I understand. So what we're going to go ahead and try to do is basically make D.Va into a Keyblade wielding character. So we'll see how that goes. That's going to be the challenge for today. And I'll explain the process as I go um, with what we're going to do. But this can be a lot of translating. So turning things into other things. For example, her gun and her robot will most likely go into her Keyblade design. So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I don't know. For anybody watching, I'm not sure if everybody's actually ever tried that before. If you guys are into drawing, um, trying to do mashups like this is one of my favorite things I've done as a kid. Um, I used to design keyblades all the time. I had like a whole book of keyblades. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> so um, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the the base structure of the keyblade first, because we already know what the character looks like roughly. We'll start working on the character design from there. So the keyblade, let me see it here. I've been trying to look up some good like gun references here we go thank oh. you all on mixer for letting me know the microphone wasn't working that was uh <laughs> feedback is appreciated that was a oops <laughs> so <clears throat> we have the gun here now it's time to figure out how we would translate this gun's features into something for a keyblade um so let's see we've got overhang here on the bottom of the gun we've got the handle and we have the accent pieces everything of course is in pink so should be interesting so let's see so typical keyblade shape standard keyblade is going to be like this your blade fills up this space ben on facebook says i have never played overwatch 
It's a pretty cool game. Um, even if you haven't played it, one thing I would recommend would be if you go on YouTube, you can actually watch the Overwatch short films about the characters. <laughs> um, <laughs> John does rock. He is the man. Yeah, the only tech problem I can't fix is Facebook um, messages coming up on our stream. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty common, isn't it? Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is play with some ideas here. The first thing is going to be how to incorporate the character's gun into this, this sketch. So just so you guys can see it a little clearer, I'm going to go ahead and work with just a regular ballpoint pen. So this is going to be the section of the bottom of the gun, that that black part that was showing there on the bottom before. Okay. Then we're going to put the actual barrel, the pink barrel accents up here to create that first. <laughs> well, <clears throat> her gun, I don't know if anybody's toting around pink bunny guns in Gears of War. <laughs> <laughs> like it's pretty close who knows um we'll stick a chainsaw on it and then that'll be good <laughs> so let's see so got kind of the base shape inspired by the gun so this is going to be the black stock part this is the bullet the pink part we'll go ahead and make this part down here also pink except for some accent parts hey the anime girl welcome thank you for joining us Hey, hey. Yeah, it's like, now you can hear what we sound like. She's like, oh, your bad voice is low. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to playing just music and typing your comments. The music's much more better than your voice. <laughs> um, you sound like you're trying to be a ghost. Just now. The music is better than your voice. <laughs> so whatever we do on one side, we're going to duplicate on the other side just because keyblades are rather symmetrical most of the time. Or they're like one blade, one sided. So, in this case, I'm gonna do it symmetrically. Um, let's see here. Do the handle based on. Um, so what we're drawing today is um, we're actually turning Diva from Overwatch into a Kingdom Hearts character. Just because. Just because. Uh, well, actually, I was inspired because of the recent Kingdom Hearts trailer. I got geeked out about it and thought it would be a cool challenge idea. So let's see. And lately, I've been kind of swamped with a lot of stuff. So my plan was to start doing polls f during the week on the Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, all that. <laughs> well, hey. We do know Diva is a pretty popular character, so that was one of the reasons um, we we posted on. I actually just started a Vero account, also that new social media style, the new social media app, um, and on Instagram and on Facebook, you can follow us on all those places at justjoshdraws dot com. Well, just just justdraws uh, <laughs> dot com. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> we also want to say anybody that's uh, watching on Facebook, if you all want to see a better uh, picture and nice and clear. You can go watch us on YouTube, Mixer, and Twitch that all supports uh, 1080p streaming. Yeah, it's crazy, the technology. I I was, like, dumbfounded when John was like, yeah, we can actually stream on all these at the same. <clears throat> what? A request of drawing? Yeah, in regards to... Um in regards to request drawings, I definitely want to go ahead and get into that going into the future. I guess what it is is um, we're trying to build the viewership on here so we have more people to make suggestions and votes and, and all that kind of stuff. So, <laughs> doki doki literature fair. Robert Shaw says, hey, people from Facebook. Hey, hey, hey. Ben Cameron's also watching. We also have Victoria Darkstar. Woo -woo. And Ed. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the stream see here she's got the little little bunny hanging off of the end so this is going to be black black pink 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 so i think we got that down and then look at the robot so that's what's going to inspire the blade is her robot it is an interesting looking robot i was surprised i think it looked like a gundam bunny thing 
let's see. So for the shielding on the Keyblade, I think I'm going to do the knee pads for the robot. Like that. Going up the guard. Give it a little bit more heft also. Um, and then it's a lot of circular element. <clears throat> so we're going to do this. This is kind of going to be based on the head of the of the robot. Is it here? So this is going to be where that head piece is. It's going to act as the blade of the key. Go ahead and do this here. We just want to throw out a thank you for Sarah on Facebook, Robert Shaw, and Nate T. <laughs> yes, we do appreciate everything, guys. We appreciate y'all tuning in and the support. And it's been really cool seeing um, seeing the viewership increase and getting a chance to talk to new people and have fun. So if you if you like what you're what you're seeing on this on this stream and on our page, definitely feel free to share it to your friends. You know, we love new new visitors to the stream. It's a lot of fun, you know, having fun with the mixer and the new new programs to try. So that's been interesting. Plus, it's been nice to have the quality improved on the been able to use. We got some new <laughs> equipment to be able to use high resolution stuff. We were trying to do that for a little bit. So I know, I know John was happy about that. <laughs> yeah, now we can see what you're actually drawing instead of blur. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. So. So I'm thinking like the wings of the bunny robot would be on the ends here. And then Sarah says, hi, Josh. Hey, hey, hey. How's it going? Thank you for tuning in. Let's see. So we've got that going here. Get some, put the little jet boosters. <laughs> this kind of reminds me of Reinhardt's hammer. Um, you play Overwatch, right, John? No. No? I thought you guys were playing. I thought you guys were talking about that. With no. Cool. Okay. So Reinhardt, he worked for the German soldiers. Like, I guess it was like uh, one of his short films was really cool, too. They use like a weapon that's like a hammer with rocket boosters on the back. So like every time they swing it, it just like flies with jet boosters at whoever they're swinging it at, which is pretty neat. I was like, that would not be fun to get hit with. Just saying. So, I think I've got kind of a rough idea going here. I'm going to change the blade shape probably a little bit on the keys. Maybe more like spearheaded kind of do that. So, There's no throw a hi to Alex on YouTube and the second person who has not said anything. So, <laughs> hi everyone. Appreciate you for tuning in, um, Alex. You the man. And uh, <clears throat> so you said anime. Is the anime girl said that? Um, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> We're actually designing a version of Diva if she was in Kingdom Hearts. That's what it is, Nathan. Um, doing a mashup challenge. I like doing these. It's fun. Kind of stretch the limits of a character um, character design. So I think. What do you guys think? Just being a keyblade for Diva. I think that works. I think it works. It's kind of the head of the robot as the keyblade part. And then the gun parts are the handle. And then she's got the little bunny piece here. What do you think? And also, feel free to comment below if you guys play Overwatch, who your favorite uh, character is. Like, who do you main, I guess, would be the terminology for it. These youngins say, you know, who do you, who do you main? Was it? Just kidding. Josh, you know you're not that old, right? I, I know. It's just funny to say you youngins. I just, <laughs> just wanted to. Just having a moment, John. You just took my moment away. <laughs> Get off my lawn. I don't know. I'm just trying to be funny, but it's fine. <laughs> All right. So let's see. So we've got some character design sketches and stuff. And I think. So instead of going with the normal route of her costume, which is a spacesuit, essentially. Hmm. 
I'm not sure of those particular names on Overwatch. I only know of Hanzo and Genji, Sombra, that kind of stuff. I think if you're referring to um, Doki Doki Literature Club, I am not as familiar with that one, so I'd have to look into it. Robert Shaw asked on Facebook, has ever, anybody seen Black Panther movie yet? No. I'm so bummed out. I don't want to see it. But we're all going together as a family, so... Well, as the anime girl, I'll have to uh, do some more research on that on that show. I think it's an anime, and then I also think it, they had like a game version of it. I think my sister-in-law played it. Um, Doki Doki. Let's see. So, Diva's hair is like bangs over the front of her face on one side, and then she's got it pulled back on the other side. So. And then she's got her headphones in. I don't know why I gave her an ear if I was going to give her headphones. But what? <laughs> just spaced out and I didn't really think about it. Yes, Alex. Black Panther must be seen. The legendary movie. What is it now? It's like the most popular. It's the like highest grossing Marvel film of all time. I think. Is what the... They updated it. Sure. I don't know. Fine, John. Fine. Fine. You input, Gosh. you know, research while you're, you know, watching the stream. Maybe find out. You know, so we have something to talk about, John. <laughs> Observe as I give the producer a hard time. That's what I do. So, okay. So this is kind of over here. So Kingdom Hearts, the eyes are a little bit different than how they would be in Overwatch. So in Overwatch, her eyes are more like... Kind of got like a heavy eyeliner type feel. And then. So that's kind of her eyes in, in Overwatch, as far as I can see. So in Kingdom Hearts, it would be more like. like Sarah says, please go watch it. One of my favorite Marvel f m films now. Woo woo. I'm hoping. I'm hoping I can get there have to uh, do another uh, Black Panther stream one of these days so with Kingdom Hearts when you're doing the eyes the biggest difference between those eyes and these eyes is that in Kingdom Hearts they do this thing where they put a line inside of the eye so it's kind of like this so if you draw the circle and you draw the light light beam you would also draw like this line going around notice how I'm not saying the eye parts because I totally mix them up all the time so <laughs> get somebody <laughs> commenting like that's not the iris that's the pupil I'm like, yeah. I know this is uh, diva from from overwatch the anime girl we're doing uh <clears throat> drawing her as a Kingdom Hearts style character. <laughs> Bye, Alex. Uh, Nate says, add Marlixo and Marlixi. Diva from Pink Powder. Uh, from, oh, for Pink Powder. Oh, power? Marlux, he has a character from uh, Kingdom Hearts. He has like pink hair and a scythe. And Nate also says, OMG, Josh is drawing Diva. I've been heard. This is ad uh, addictive. What happened? It's on Facebook. It's not showing up. Hey, Devin. How's it going? So this is kind of roughly what her face is going to look like. Okay, okay we got that going over there. And then she's got 
like little marks on her face. <laughs> You're really glad you like the channel. Get that sorted out. Okay, so that's kind of the rough idea of where we're going face style wise to match the Kingdom Hearts style. They've got like more rounded features. So like this, go ahead and make sure the face has the swoop to it. So I think we got enough to go ahead and get started. I think costume wise. Sorry. Caffeine. Um, <laughs> Caffeine. Yep. Did I just seriously get bad points on this or shit? Yeah, I did. All right. Well, you will learn. Rare name is having problems with this is Airnet. It's okay, Devin. Have you tried hitting it? Can I put a background song on? As long as it's cop um, <laughs> not copyrighted. <laughs> not copyrighted. <laughs> I know this uh this one's pretty crap, so let me just turn that off for you. <laughs> Somebody is an incredibly big fan of that show. <laughs> Doki Doki over here. Okay, so we got bangs going. So what we're gonna try to do is a kind of a wow. I don't like that already. Okay, so artist move number two. Sometimes you end up erasing everything you just did. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. And you should definitely loose gesture much more before you start committing to something. Maybe like that. Maybe do that. One of the biggest things that threw me in Kingdom Hearts, and I was debating whether or not I should do that here for this stream, is in Kingdom Hearts, there, there's Final Fantasy characters. So I'm not sure who's familiar with like Final Fantasy, Cloud, um, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. But there's, there's a version of the game where some of the characters from Kingdom Hearts are Final Fantasy characters, but young, like kids, kid versions of them. And it threw me for a loop when I first... Cause I was like, why is Waka like, <laughs> yes, there's a character named Waka, John. Uh, <laughs> really? I was like, why is Waka like a little kid? <laughs> it was just, it, it just really confused me to no end. Um, but after a while it, it grew on me. So I was like, maybe I should make D.Va like a kid, <laughs> but I think I'll stick with her being older. I'm not sure what I would, <laughs> then I'd have to challenge myself to draw her as a kid and that could be. Found some new music, John? Yeah, I got some thing rolling. It's still crap, but it's not the same song over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So we get the pose down.
this is the phase where you block out everything you want to draw the way where you want it to land where you want it to fall you got to make space for everything so it does you know it actually fits which can be annoying if you don't do it right so let's see and the coolest thing about converting a character from you know a show to another or, or a series to a video game style or something like that is that you have certain room for interpretation of things so for example i'm going to make her a coat or like a maybe a short jacket kind of thing mm -hmm. reason why is because she normally wears like a skin tight freaking space lady suit which is fine for somebody piloting a giant robot it makes perfect sense but not when you're running around you know as a regular character so what it's going to try to do is to take elements from her outfit and turn it into a viable out like jacket instead and then she has her plug suit or whatever that connects to the robot instead of a you know the collar that's on it i'm gonna actually turn it into kind of a <laughs> have a good day the enemy go but <clears throat> so we're gonna go ahead and turn that into the jacket there's these symbols here you know character symbols and whatnot that I'm gonna try and kind of make fit. Doggy doggy literature club. Oh. If I had a, if I had to bet money. <laughs> She's gonna be like, no, it was Overwatch. No, I got it. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you tuning in, Nellie. Thank you so much. Good having you here. Let's see. So another thing about Kingdom Hearts that's pretty weird is the director, or the guy who designs the characters, he actually puts pointless zippers on most of the type of witchcraft. <laughs> is this. Um, it's the just Josh draws variety of witchcraft. I don't know. What, <laughs> what exactly do you want me to say? <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Like, that's my... There you go. <laughs> I've received my letter to Hogwarts, everyone. There will be no more drawing live streams. I'm going to be a wizard. <laughs> Expecto Padronum. Uh, that's the whole live stream. I just, like, sit here and watch the drawing happen. I don't even do anything. I'm just like, yeah. There you go. Hashtag magic. If you all saw, um, or let's see, Friday, we actually had a live stream going on. Uh, no voice or anything. It was just music, annoying music playing over and over. <laughs> um, my Josh was drawing. And we plan on doing that, you know, again. Soon. <laughs> in the future. Hello, more Alex. casual, More casual streams coming, coming at you at some point. That's what John's trying to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. More of those things. It did run three hours long, though. <laughs> that, that was a little much. <laughs> That's what happens, man. You just zone out drawing. You don't even notice the passage of time. I didn't even... I didn't even realize it either. I was like, "Well, I'm really hungry for some reason." Yeah, that was, well, that was pretty much the only way I figured it out. I was like, "Wow, I haven't eaten in a while." Huh. Yeah, I wonder why that is. The other thing too is it's really hot behind these lights. So like, it geez, is. That was slightly uncomfortable for a bit. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry, Josh. When I become Oprah rich, I'll upgrade those to LED. <laughs> Welcome to the show. You get a stream. You get a stream. Everybody <laughs> gets a stream. So we're going to convert her uh, suit into a shirt. So that should be fun.
to the punky type character, so we'll see what we can do with that. Um, and then another thing they always add pointlessly to characters in these things is belts. Just belts everywhere. <laughs> there's zippers on stuff that you shouldn't zipper up, and then there's belts on all kinds of... It's, it's strange. I don't know. So let's see. We got... This is good. Good. Gotta get her some spoofy, poofy pants, cause that's Kingdom Hearts style. Pointlessly spoofy pants. <laughs> the other thing about Kingdom Hearts I really liked is like, wow, man, they got funny looking costumes. This is some interesting art style direction we got going on here. So, looks like she has like sponsors on her outfit. So, gotta kind of figure out what to do with that um so let's see yeah so based on who's who's watching right now and who has played um kingdom hearts how's that let's see let's see what nostalgia factor there is there. john you haven't played kingdom hearts right have you no no what no no, I have not. What sacrilege is this? Uh, I'm sorry? <laughs> I thought I knew you. I thought oh. I knew you. <laughs> I thought you were my friend. You betrayed us. Now, I just remember all the kids in elementary school playing it, and then, like, I never got to. And then, like, when I got older, and I was at home, homeschooled already, like, when I left regular school, everybody was like, I finally had a friend who had a copy and I was like what is this I can play it now Mercedes on Facebook says hey Josh this is looking awesome thank you Mercedes she is one of the people who commented for Diva also so you know if you're enjoying the stream you can thank her as well Mercedes also says Alec and I both play one and two multiple times whoop, whoop. well you need to play three well it's not out yet John Oh. But. Well, you need to play three when it comes out. <laughs> Says the guy that hasn't played one. Hey, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't judge me, okay? <laughs> I will judge you as much as I can. Gosh, John. <laughs> Let's see. Have you played Overwatch, though, at least? I, mean, I know you say you don't have it, but you haven't played it? No. Okay. He's making really... Every I think I played it for... He makes some interesting faces, so I'm like, never mind. I played it at a friend's house for like a total of five minutes when I was on beta. I and think. Blew your mind? Nothing? No? It's a game. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, man. <laughs> it's uh, one of those things, you know. Sure. You, you run around, shoot things. Come on, welcome wow. Jen Soto to Facebook. Hey, Jen. She's like, she's my aunt, but she's like my sister, so it's kind of complicated. I don't know. <laughs> I guess Rare Name has played over 500 hours. Dude, Devin is, yeah, he's, he's big in that game. Wow. Okay, and in the course of how much time, like... Is this 500 hours in a month? Because that's... Yeah. <laughs> don't judge his gaming habits, okay? <laughs> People don't judge yours. I, well, that's not true. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> your wife does. <laughs> Everyone judges my gaming, okay? Wait, your skill or the, your... The lack of skill? Yeah. Thank yeah. you. How can you not shoot that? It's it's big. You're right. And he says over a year, but most I got in a couple months. Oh, that's that's good. That's frightening, Devin. I I literally have not allowed myself to play video games for so long because 
I don't want to, like... He will be addicted. Yeah, I have the personality that lends itself to... I'm a perfectionist, so, like, if there's achievements, you might as well just, like, leave me there. Why do you think they put them in there? To get you hooked where you have to do it. Forever. You'll never leave. Keep You'll playing. never leave. Did you see what Devin said, though, about Monster Hunter? No. He's on, the game's only been out for a few weeks, and he already put 200 hours into it. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's that's a lot. Yep. I see. I'm getting mixed, you know, feedback about Monster Hunter. A lot of people are like, "Oh, it's great," and then the other people are like, "Yeah, that guy, uh, that game can die." It's you know. Well, what it is is that it's repetitive. So like, it's always you're always hunting monsters. You know what I mean? Oh no, I get what you're. So for forwarding the story, you're just hunting more monsters. <laughs> so it's not like it's not like the same uh, premise as like a game that holds your attention more, like. Um, so if you play that game, you're playing it strictly because you want to get the armor, you want to get the achievements, you want to, you know what I mean? Yeah, so it, like I said, once you get the hang of how to kill large monsters and stuff, it gets kind of repetitive. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it when I played it, for the most part, but I never like played more than one game. And I only played it for, you know, a limited time, so. There we go. For the next stream, uh, we are thinking about doing a digital uh, drawing. You yep. know, with um, computer and all that good stuff. Wait, thingy. Since we have uh, the capabilities of doing that now. So what do you guys think? Comment below what you think about a digital live stream on here. And then also what you guys think the live stream should be for. And, um, you know, just don't say Doki Doki. <laughs> you just got to draw once. That's <laughs> like the going, fifth time one someone day I'm said gonna. that. <laughs> well, it's always her. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> what? I don't remember names very well. So, you know, so there's enemy. five random people that I, you know, just heard that from. Yeah. She's just really into it, you know. She does. I, I totally understand, but I've never played it. I never understand it. It's a game? Yeah, I think it's like a sim. Like a dating sim. Kind oh. Of I think there's a different term for it, but pretty much you're a guy, I think. I think you could be a girl, too. But you're a guy or a girl, and you're basically stuck with this these group of people in the literature club, and you're supposed to, like, there's, like, relationship stuff going on, and it gets complicated, and then, I don't know, it gets kind of not human type of a scenario after a while gotcha so does everyone like the the new camera that we have rolling where you can yeah, actually you can see everything super clear yeah well the coolest thing is for me i can see it really clear which was is, is neat i couldn't even like i was looking at it before and i'm like i kept asking john everyone's like is that is that how they're seeing it because yeah unfortunately he's like no it's fine <laughs> the first like first two times he's like yeah no 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 it's fine it's just because of facebook i'm like i don't know yeah no maybe we should try this. and then he's like yeah we got to get this thing so it was like a saga for us to decide on getting something and then after that he kept having to remind me like 30 times to get the hd cable for it and i was like no normally i don't forget anything but there's been so many changes in my life as of late that I've just become a mess. So he had to keep reminding me, which is so out of character for me. I don't know what happened. Mercedes on Facebook says, I second Doki Doki. It's a humor game. There you go. Humor game. See? She that, knows. You know, that is involving dating and all. But yeah. I don't know. I'll look it up. I think my sister, like I said, I think my sister-in-law played it. I'll have to get ask her when I get home. I'll be like, uh... It was Doki Doki Literature Club, right? <laughs> and what was that about again? <laughs> well, it's like people who play like Persona. Mm -hmm. it, it's like a anime-based kind of game, and Mercedes is really familiar with it. And she's like, "It's really good because the story." She's explaining all to me, and I'm like, "All right, now I gotta like sit down and do some research and figure this out and see if I can actually play it at some point." Because <laughs> the games always sound so interesting. One day, guys, 
one day. One day. I'll have the free time to actually play video games again. But today is not this day. <laughs> In the words of Aragorn. But. <laughs> so. She's just like, nerf this, bro. That's what I hear she says. I, I wouldn't. Oh, oh, it's a horror game. Sorry. I totally just misread that. <laughs> My apologies, Mercedes. It's a horror game. I think it fakes you out. Like, I think it's it's supposed to seem like it's related to, like, those standard kind of dating sims, and then it, like, throws you. Throws you I don't know. My apologies. <laughs> she, will, she will set you straight, son. Okay. Well, you know, I'm clicking through multiple tabs, so I read it quick. And it was not correct what I read because that's my life. <laughs> John, hashtag, hashtag read too fast life. <laughs> mm. I actually found that book the other day. Um, I found the book I had drawn of all the Keyblades I've ever made. There were so many in there, man. I even made... Um, Zampaktos from like Bleach, the anime, mm -hmm. and I do. I used to design them all. I even used to research the names in Japanese so I could name them properly and give them like the Bonkai's and like. And then Kingdom Hearts, I used to come up with backstory for all of them. <laughs> well, I had this one idea that because in the game Kingdom Hearts, Mickey Mouse is kind of the He's kind of your guide um, as, after you get past a certain point and you find him. He's kind of like the Yoda of the game. Like, he's a total badass, which you don't really think would happen with Mickey Mouse. Mm -hmm. um, but when you, you even get to be Mickey Mouse at one point, like, you actually play as him. And you can whoop serious butt, like, as Mickey Mouse. This <laughs> is not even... He's, like, flipping all over the screen. You're just killing all these heartless. And it was badass. I was like, <laughs> Mickey's a G, man. He was just killing everybody. He's like, ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> like stabbing everybody in the face. Um, but <laughs> I thought it would be funny because you know, do you know who Oswald the Lucky Rabbit is, John? Yeah. All right. So he said no. no. John said no. <laughs> um, he said it with his eyes. I just knew. <laughs> That's um, a no. So Oswald the Lucky Rabbit was actually the character that Walt Disney created before he made Mickey. Did you know that? Okay. So he made him. And then a studio a person who he worked with at a particular studio, he had to leave the studio because they had a falling out. And he actually took the character because he said, we own it. And so he lost Oswald. So Mickey was then created to address the problem when Disney came to California or whatever the case was. So, hey, 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 Breeze Canyon, what's up? Hey. So what happened was is that Oswald eventually was bought back by Disney. But everybody refers to him as that kind of like, um, not redheaded stepchild, but more like uh, kind of the, the lost son kind of thing. It's going good. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> and uh, so what happened is, is that they made a video game called Epic Mickey, mm -hmm. where Mickey actually goes to this place of lost cartoons and he actually finds his brother Oswald and he's the villain. Um. So I thought it would be an interesting play on that dynamic to do Kingdom Hearts and make Oswald kind of an anti-hero. So he is a hero at some point. He still goes back to saving the kingdom like what their father intended. But, pardon me, um, <clears throat> I designed it so that he had a different unique type of keyblade. So instead of it being like a big uh, skeleton key like all the other keys are, mm -hmm. it's actually a house key. So it has the teeth like a house key. And so those keys are actually like um made by somebody instead of just like coming into existence like the other keyblades are in a lot of cases so i had like this whole backstory built up for how those keys worked and that oswald like trained these like new generation of heroes but they're like not necessarily good guys mm -hmm. so i wrote like this like i guess essentially we call it a fan fiction it was before fan fiction was i think something i knew about <laughs> um and i designed like a bunch of those keys but it was fun. I, I nostalgia, man. Nostalgia. Let's see. So we've got the handle done on the keyblade. Give her fingerless gloves. I like it. Uh, let's see here. He 
<laughs> John's like, we have the supply cam. The supply cam is where people can see what you're u what you're using or what you reach off camera for, like my markers and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I carry this thing like everywhere with me. This is. I feel like we're doing a music video. Like, you know, those music videos where the person's face comes up like six different times and they're singing the a cappella <laughs> version of a song? Yeah. Eventually, we'll have John sh show up with his, his mask. So we got him a mask. Yes, we did. John doesn't like being on camera unless, you know, he covers his face in funny different ways. It's supposed to be like the dude who's a neighbor from. Uh, tool time or what is it Wilson uh, yeah Wilson <laughs> but so we were out one day and I was like dude <laughs> I found this mask that you should totally wear when <laughs> we do streams and so I got it and we're just waiting for him to never hey you will wear that so help me God. <laughs> I do wear it you will wear it on camera John <laughs> no <laughs> I'll be right back. We're having technical difficulties. Go on camera. John, come Beep. on. <laughs> You're like, ah. <laughs> like, Thank you guys for waiting. I'm back now. John's wearing it now. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Gosh darn it, John. Dude. But in that trailer for the new Kingdom Hearts, you can go to Monsters, Inc. World. Really? Yeah. That's the new world they announced. They announced Tangled. So you can go to Rapunzel's world. They announced all of those. It's super exciting. Oh, Toy Story. So you'd be a toy in Andy's <laughs> room. And you got to help Woody and Buzz. Very cool. And his new Keyblade turns into rides at Disney. So, question is, are you going to play it? Uh, with every fiber of my being, yes. <laughs> you know, pull out your Xbox One and, you know, dust it off. and Dust it off, yeah. You know, hook it up and be like, oh, I'm not going to go play this game, yeah, finally. Yeah, and it's like live streams are put on hiatus for the next two years. <laughs> Talk to me. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know what happened. I just... Your Xbox will be crying because you're actually using it. <laughs> like, I feel loved. I feel love. Uh, Mercedes says, I don't know if you're already doing this, but don't forget the charm on the Keyblade. Yep. You could <laughs> make little it bunny. a little bunny. Mm -hmm. Gotta have the, the bunny. Got. Got to. It's the only way. It's the only way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Gotta figure out what to do with her other hand. I'm not really sure what to do with it yet, so... We'll see. I still want to build a Keyblade again. Like, I haven't done it in a while, but... I'm going to sit down and do it. It's been too long. Actually building one? Yeah, I made one out of cardboard. It was <laughs> crazy, dude. I, like, lined the blade tips with pencils. I still really like my Doctor Who Keyblade. Yeah, dude, that was so sick, dude. Mine's pretty... That, that Robert was... Shaw says Playboy, Playboy Pump Bunny. <laughs> hey, Robert. I have to remind you this is a PG stream. Mercedes says, you know the way. I know the way, yes. That's it, guys. Next week, we're doing Uganda Knuckles as a King of Hearts character. No. <laughs> no. You know the way <laughs> to the King of Hearts. No. <laughs> I might actually quit if you did that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't quit on me. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I don't want to have anybody push the buttons for me. <laughs> or just, you know, be my friend. Oh, that's her. 
jerk. I think all I want is your button pressing ability. It's like, comment below if you think John's being a butt. It's an overwhelming yes. A million comments. You just can't see him, John. They're glitching out. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> So we're going to do the classic anime thing where you just have the character holding a fist for no reason. Because no will beat you up. I'm tough. I'm using a sword thing with jet boosters, but I'm going to still hold a fist because the artist didn't know what to do with the rest of my hands. <laughs> so there you go. That was that. Robert Shaw says, we all know you draw the triple X stuff for Ed. By that, you mean literally just three X's on a piece of paper. <laughs> then maybe. The anime girl says, hey, what's next? Inking. No, again. <laughs> Woo. All right, guys. You guys can't see it from here, but this is a very precarious sitting situation. So it's quite difficult <laughs> to move whenever I do. It takes me a while to come back to the standard position. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here we go. Beginning the inking process. Time for He's taking his pen and going over every line to ensure that they're nice and dark. Yeah, I couldn't comment. Not commentate on this. <laughs> Have you ever thought about golf commentating? Because that's pretty close. He's lining up the shot. He's lining up the shot. He's standing there still. He's still standing. This is great. He's about to swing. Oh this wait, where he his changes his really mind. Starts to blossom. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Go for like the football, football. Touchdown! No, no, can't do it. In a world far away. I know, right? We'll just do movie trailers and stuff. There we go. In a world where one guy. And another guy do live streams. Dun dun dun. <laughs> and the computer burn, burns into pieces. Yay. Wait. What? The anime girl says question mark. Or he's inking and then doing color. Uh, we don't have anything planned to draw anything else today. But later on this week, we will have something. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen. We will. Let's see. Our live streams are usually start to finish, where he starts a drawing, he finishes drawing, one way or another. <laughs> Even if I have to die, no, no. it will get done. Yes, you can always suggest something for the next live stream. Best grill. <laughs> Is that like a derpy picture of Diva? I can't tell. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Robert Shaw says, too bad you can't have the Star Wars music playing in the background. <laughs> yeah, You know, Disney suing people thing. Yeah. All that copyright infringement. Mm. Just for us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Robert Shaw says, Lego characters. Do you mean like League of Legends characters or do you mean legal characters is it something I'm not familiar with? Lego characters. Oh, you said Lego. Oh, sorry. Lego. I was very confused, John. You yeah, can't whatever. keep doing this to me. I know. I can't talk. <laughs> you just take a moment before you say it out loud. <laughs> Lego. I was like, okay. Yeah. It's a moon moon emote.
So how's everyone's week? Also known as talk to us. Yes. We don't like quiet. We don't like <laughs> Yeah, no, we don't. We hate quiet. I just ran out of things to talk about. Not, Not good. good. That's no good. What's going on? Well, that's good. At least do it. Robert Shaw's next drawing make Kingdom Heart Lego characters. Ah. Because you're not trying to, to, to gosh darn it. <laughs> Mercedes says you should um, um, do a Studio um, Ghibli um, crossover would be awesome. What, with Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> or like Overwatch? <laughs> or which one? Or anything. Hey, I'm drawing too. And listening to your stream. Going to post to Instagram soon. Cool. cool. Is your is your Instagram Breeze Canyon artwork still as well? I have to go check your stuff out. Out. Post a link below. Yeah. In the comments. We'll click on it. I promise I'll click on it right now if you post a link. John's getting in touch with the conversation. I can click things. I don't draw. I click. See? Where is your gaming channel? Um <laughs> We don't. Yeah, we don't we don't game. I mean we do, we can. And one day I wanna have a gaming channel actually. Um we can have friends come play live and you know have a good time but as of right now not so much a little limited on time and time and more time and even more time on top of that yeah but one day we will <laughs> if we sh if we stream what Devin I'll give you Fallout New, uh, New Vegas if you stream it. If you stream, you're playing it? Maybe, Maybe whisper. whisper. All right, Breeze, the one I found is Breeze Cannon Art, not Cannon Art Network. Is that correct? Is it, is it Breeze Cannon Artworks? Oh. Oh, I appreciate that. Or is it artwork? Devin, that would be really cool. I would be down with, with playing video games. Granted, I probably won't be good at it um, right away. So, I have like a... I mean, you get to see me die a lot, probably. Be the... <coughs> Which could be funny, depending on <laughs> your preferences for gaming stream. Uh. Will the anime until. girl wants you to play until dawn? I haven't played that game before. I heard of it. So much I haven't done in my life, guys. Mercedes says, can't wait to see the finished uh, results, my dude. See you sometime soon. Have fun watching. Yep, yep. I don't know if you'll be there Monday, Mercedes, but I will swing by on Monday, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Have a good day. Woo, man. I look at like all the other artist streams that I follow and they're like four hours doing like finished pieces and I'm like, must draw ink so fast. Just... All right. Cool. I got it. Thank you.
Just uh, I'm gonna show you, Josh, in a second. There you go. If you're looking, sure. Yeah. Found you. Here's Breeze's um Instagram, everyone. If you want to go check his stuff out, it's definitely interesting. Very nice page. work. I like that. You have officially been followed by myself. We appreciate your, uh, your feedback on the streams and can't wait to see what other art you come out with. Yeah. Very nice stuff. Good job. It's always fun seeing people do art styles that are so different from what I usually do. Shows you how uh, vast the art community is. A lot of interesting stuff that there's certain mediums too I'm just terrible at. I'd love to get better at them, like learn about them and stuff. But mm -hmm. like oddly, one of them was graffiti, like spray painting. Yeah. Wanted to learn how to do that. Cause the results are like so clean if you know what you're doing. It almost looks like vector art. Like illustrator level, thick lines, really clean, uh, neat stuff, bro. He just, um, Post another one be up in a second so once it goes uh is actually posted i'll refresh mm -hmm. There you go. That use of color, man. Very nice. Solid. And what do you use to draw those? Yes, we would like to know your medium. Yes, did I see the Ric Flair one? No, unfortunately, the thing I used to stream won't let me scroll down for some reason. I can go through it. <laughs> He's like, eventually I will get there. Eventually. Ric Flair, Ric Flair. Oh, there it is. There we go. <laughs> Go ahead and show that over. It's a trade secret. <laughs> hey man, keeping it close to the chest, I understand. Alex says he's almost done. Robert Shaw says, "All right, peace. I'm out. Have a good day. You Have too, a good day, man. Robert. Thank you for tuning in. Wow, I really messed that one up." not about how bad you mess up. It's about how you recover, ladies and gentlemen. You just gotta hope you don't recover badly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that good.
Gosh, this pen is like the best pen ever. I am all set. That's the one that you got on Amazon? Yeah, like the really cheap Jordan no Suke pen from Tombow. Yeah. Super good. The soft brush, I can do so many different types of inking, like thin, thick lines, all that jazz. It's crazy. Nice. Found out they sell like a lot, like a literally a lot of like 30 or 40 or something like that for like not even. It's like a dollar a pen almost really? or less. Yeah. Stock up. Yeah, they work well as long as they have enough time to dry and stuff. They work really well with um, Copics too. Okay, got that going. That's good. Do some. Okay. All right, so we got like all the base inks down. Mm-hmm. So then, except for the head of the keyblade and now does everyone want us to color this today or are you string gone too long <laughs> yeah you guys let can, us know you guys can vote if you're all done for the day, I can also go ahead and um, if you're following on our Instagram page and stuff, I can go ahead and color it um, at home and we can post it up later on today or tomorrow. Thank you, Breeze, for tweeting our live stream. That's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. That's awesome. And rare name says, up to you. How long have we been going, John? We are been about hour and twelve, um, hour and eight minutes. If you don't count the loading or the uh, five minute loading time. Hmm. Well, if we haven't gotten any objections, I suppose we can get. Shouldn't take too long to color after uh, the inks are done. Yeah. So let's go ahead and just push it to the limit. Oh. Alright, so that that let's go ahead and finish up the body of the keyblade here. Bree says I have deleted some accounts from Instagram, uh, my Instagram, to make room, so I will follow you, Josh. Huge thanks for sharing my work the, the way you did. It means a lot, really. No problem. Anytime, Breeze. We're all about spreading, you know, good, talented work out, so. Yep. Same way we're trying to build up this, this page. We understand other people are trying to get their work out, and, you know, our industry is competitive enough as it is. We need to work together, you know. All right, so that's all the fundamental inks done. I like it. Looks pretty, looks pretty clean. Kind of what, pretty much what I was, what I was going for. Um, it's looking good. I personally can't wait for the color. It's my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, it's always fun. It really brings everything together when you finally, um, finally are able to color something in. Let's see. All right, here we go.
Gotta loosen up. <laughs> It doesn't even fade that much when you race over it either. Oh yeah? Yeah. The ink is really good. That's one of the biggest problems with like fancy inking inking pens and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. You you touch them and they smudge and they don't dry fast at all and So, let's see what we got here. Okay. Test some colors out first. <laughs> yeah, it's almost done. Just got a color. The coloring makes the drawing come to life. He's so eloquent, you guys, isn't he? Comes to life. Comes to life. I never thought about getting into advertising. Um. No. If I ever got into advertising, I would probably get fired quickly. <laughs> Are you looking for a pan that never stinks? Well, don't look here because this pan sucks. <laughs> you saying honesty would be the problem? Is that what you're saying? Breeze loves the coloring part. Me too. Love it. There's always that part that's kind of, I don't know, cathartic or relaxing. It's definitely the coloring phase for me. All right. So, let's take a look. Breeze will try to stay to the end. Appreciate we have faith you. in you. <laughs> you will be able to make it. Unless you don't, unless you can't, then don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah. If you don't be late to work or, you know, or something. Yeah, who needs to work? I'm then, just kidding. You know. No, no, seriously, don't work. <laughs> the same way that we're about supporting artists, we're also about making sure people don't, you know, get fired and stuff. <laughs> live streams. Okay, we got that. That. It's like pink is really just the accent color on a lot of this, which is interesting. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah, lightsaber nunchucks. That was fun. <laughs> Everybody just making stuff up as we go. All right, let's do some lightsaber nunchucks. Why the heck not? Who doesn't need some grade A lightsaber nunchucks in their life? I know, I I do. <laughs> I still want a pair in real life. <laughs> They're freaking awesome. You're not wrong, my friend. Not wrong. You got a problem with me? <laughs> I got my lightsaber nunchucks. I'll take care of you. Aw, oh, snap. Can I do the Bruce Lee? I just <laughs> freak him out. He'll run away. And you're all set. Let's see. Okay. Got enough pink going on now. I think you can hear. You definitely that. got enough pink going on. <laughs> pink is one of those colors. Like, why did anybody make this? <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely sometimes a little bit much. But hey, man, what are you gonna do? Oh, there's some some yellow in here. I didn't think about before. Only on one part of her, though, I guess. 
Bruce says that was quite a good impression of Bruce. Thank you. That was a, a pretty solid Bruce Lee fan when I was little. I mean, my dad he used to watch them all the time. <laughs> Kung Fu movies were my thing. Actually, they still are my thing. <laughs> my baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and try and figure this blue part out. That's actually pretty spot on. Okay, let's do that. Why not, man? Cause why not? <laughs> Sounded a little bit in pain. <laughs> why not? My life is pain. <laughs> okay, Mr. Meeseeks, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> that voice, dude. I couldn't even get out of my head after the episode. That, that was a little rough. You gotta square your shoulders, Jerry! <laughs> Choke him by the clog! <laughs> Which one is it then? You know, you gotta do both! <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta kill Mr. Measing's Morty! No. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Shoot me. You gotta do it. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, John absolutely hates my impression of Rick. Rick and Morty because we were doing it a lot during one of our <laughs> our kind of streams about it. We designed a a shirt because that's actually what we do on the side um, is design shirts, and it was for a competition where you'd actually win your shirt being put in Hot Topic and all that. I mean, didn't win, but. We did a bunch of streams to try and let fans know and all that stuff of what we were trying to do and got a lot of support and we really appreciated it. Um, but yeah, we did like literally a commercial of us talking in the Rick and Morty voices and John was just like, shoot me. <laughs> he was so done. Yeah. After like, uh, I don't know, the 20th time doing it. <laughs> I never want you know hear that voice again. Until Rick and Morty season season four comes out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, get your stuff together, John. Put it in a bag. <laughs> get all your stuff. Let's see. All right, so we like that. Liking the colors so far. You got that metal reflecty look coming up here in a bit. We'll figure it out. <laughs> should be fine. Should be fine. <laughs> I'm just winging it, but it's cool. We'll figure it out one yeah. way or another. Okay, so let me just do a quick double check. Okay, so the color scheme is actually blue on the inner pants. So there we go. Yeah. Drop some more of this blue. This guy's dying on me. Say again. This is markers dying on me. Oh. So sad when they die. It's like Dimitri Martin says, markers and batteries are like the saddest thing, because they don't just stop working, they die. <laughs> Ice bears sad about that. Anybody watch We Bear Bears here on Cartoon Network? Anybody? No. I didn't ask you. Is it anybody? 
John, you know you don't count in anybody like in the stream. No. You're 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 a magic man. You don't get to count. Oh, okay. In voting. Still no. <laughs> it's really funny. It's a funny show. For those of you who don't know what I'm doing, I'm refilling markers here. Under plus one. Sometimes markers die, but you can bring them back. I don't know why I started trying to talk like George W. Bush, but whatever, roll with it. <laughs> Hi, John. Stop existing. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Um, the nice thing about this particular setup is that I don't only I only use it during live stream, so I don't have to move it ever, and so it helps me keep organized. It stays right where it is. But I'm kind of a little obsessive about being orderly with my art supplies but only in certain instances which is ironic i guess because like i like making sure my desk space is organized but my markers are not organized at all i usually forget which ones are which and i <laughs> usually have to wing it to figure out which one's supposed to be the right one so certain elements they're good and some of them i could be better about but i'm just saying They're mostly dry. Um. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people that. <laughs> but yeah, I got a lot of Copic markers. Um, I don't, can't I don't want Breeze like envying me when I'm like, they're empty, bro. Like, just be honest with myself here. <laughs> this this live stream is running on just willpower alone. It's like, <laughs> I'm hoping every marker I pick up has some kind of juice in it. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we have the Copic cam. So we could call it copy cam. Uh, now that we have the supply cam, we'll call it whatever. Uh, you guys can see how many times I pick up a marker and go, nope, that one's dry. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Only to find it again later and tell myself that it's dry, even though I should have taken it out of there a while ago. That's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, guys, nobody's perfect. <laughs> What they people say? Art's about having fun and making mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, many mistakes. In fact, it's primarily mistakes. We're also gonna call that camera um, not only Copic Cam but Monster Cam. You know. I keep all my <laughs> energy drinks on one side so people know my problems. <laughs> <coughs> John's mocking me. Monster. This stream is brought to you by... Not Monster. Not Monster. Trade Secrets, just Yes. I'm only surviving right now before you. Purely fueled by energy drinks and copious amounts of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my last legs every day, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Isn't that Mountain Dew? I don't know what energy drink he has over there. That's just a black label Mountain Dew. It's not oh, is it Mountain Dew? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm drinking Monster over here, so you know. Somebody's only I count. Alive. <laughs> if I don't have my Monster, then nothing gets done. If I don't have three, I don't even leave the house. You ever see me? Uh, the rare times I walk into the office without any coffee or Monster, and I'm just like, mm, no. <laughs> it's gonna be a bad day. <laughs> no. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> you have problems, go away. <laughs> Someone drive to the store for me. Or all shall die. <laughs> flee, flee for your lives. I'll bring pain down upon all of y'all. All of y'all? Yeah. <laughs> I will bring pain down on all of you. I become very southern without. Hey y'all, I'm about to kill. Would you like a? 
<laughs> do a Paula Dean drawing stream. <laughs> hey, y'all, we're going to go ahead and draw a character with a stick of butter. Going to just stick that butter all over this piece of paper. All right, next time, don't bring a stick of butter. You can draw with it, okay? We'll see how well that goes. <laughs> it's horribly, horribly wrong. Josh used random ingredients to make pictures. Hey, <laughs> That was actually John Jazz's channel the other day. I was like, dang, dude, he's crazy. That, that sounds crazy. He drew with condiments. That's... And then he ate a hot dog by wiping the hot dog on the picture. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, just just what? That was all I could think of. I was like, seriously, right now? Like, that's... All right. <laughs> Did not diminish how I feel about him as my YouTube inspiration <laughs> at all. So I was like, you know what? I don't see what's wrong with that. Let's eat hot dogs. Why not? <laughs> The Kingdom Hearts skin? Is that what you think, Alex? Nice. Nice. I'm glad you think so. Hey, guys at Blizzard, if any of you are tuning in, I know it's highly unlikely. <laughs> um, go ahead and let me know. Give me full credit if you do, even though I'm this just tweet our our tweet, stream out tweet that's, our a, stream. that's, all, that's we, all we need literally that is it <laughs> i'll love you forever <laughs> and ever yeah dude jazz is like my inspiration for doing all this like okay well maybe we will Maybe we'll get them tweets going. You know, we'll grab a couple chickens and we'll write with them. He's definitely a uh, amazing artist. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna open a can of whoop ass on you all. Is that what you want in a southern accent? Is that what you're saying? Because <laughs> I can do that. That's what I can do. I'm just Don't saying. make me angry. <laughs> you won't like me when I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> open up a can of where's my cornbread corn <laughs> really wow we're going super <laughs> stereotypical here are we jeez john get my cornbread even moonshine. warm up just went right for the jugular yeah i love cornbread okay <laughs> Jimmy i cornbread. just secretly i, don't I secretly cornbread. want cornbread right now okay sorry <laughs> john is channeling his inner problems he's like guys a shortage of cornbread just don't go to sam's club and get their cornbread that's pretty dang good right there. Yeah, we did pretty dang good right there. Don't you just do dang old, dang old, dang old cornbread. You guys, get you, get you some. Oh, you, now you're boom higher. <laughs> Need some cornbread, Bobby? I tell you what. <laughs> cornbread and cornbread accessories. <laughs> uh. <laughs> dang old, dang old, terrible <laughs> King of the Hill accent. Dang, dang, dang old, you know. <laughs> dang, dang old. Uh, everyone's gonna leave the stream like <laughs> nope this is too much no nope, gotta go bye <laughs> hey guys i'm just saying we do have plans to do a voice acting stream also at some point so that's gonna be fun uh we're gonna do movie script readings as different voices so prepare yourselves i have to figure out how to do voices first <laughs> hey mercedes she said she's down she does she does she actually does video game character voices a lot too Oh yeah. Yeah, her and I were we when I go to the Starbucks, um, her and I joke around all the time with voices. Dang, we got we got some some stuff going on here, you guys. Damn cocaine. I forgot to look up what color her eyes were. Pink. They're not pink. <laughs> <laughs> they look brown. Make them red. Nope. Uh, let's see. I was like, looks finished to me. Well, you're not wrong, but you're not right. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> you're not wrong, but you're totally wrong, son. It's all... Put that lipstick on. I put my lipstick on that night. I I really do not know what you're singing right now. I, I was just kind of riffing on that sunglasses song. Oh. You know, like, you know what I mean, right? 
Like, he, nope. he, knows, he knows what he's talking nope. He's just trying to act like he knows. Nope. He knows. Don't Guys, know. he knows. Everybody, he knows. Nope. Don't make it weird, man. Okay. Yeah, I'll make it weird. John. What? Wait. What? God. Gosh. Darn it. John. Cha. Come on, man. Okay. One minute. I'm going to have to step over to the cop. Oh, my leg was asleep. <laughs> it feels so tingly. I'm dropping a marker on the ground. Okay, not everything should be a Sonic song. <laughs> Why? Because, <laughs> John. Just okay. Just imagine having theme music everywhere you go. I don't know if I want to. I'm walking to Starbucks to drink some coffee. I mean, you gotta flow like and it's draw. Not fun, man. I, I'm not feeling. Yeah, I'm not. I, no, I'm not a singer, so. Yeah. No. I don't feel the flow, John. I don't feel the magic coming from you. You're not. There's no, like, passion. Christina says, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Whoop, whoop. Wait. Who, what's going to be amazing? I don't know. Which Christina? Weaver. Hey. Hey. Everybody prepare yourselves. Just gonna nerf this right now. No, I'm just kidding. I am not going as a guest or anything. Like I'm not going as an artist. Um, just because Mega is a little overcrowded for artists, to be honest. Um, and the cost for the booth space and stuff is pretty high. And the competition is really, really high also. So while I would love to, and I may go as just a like a visitor like for fun um so maybe we could do a meetup or something but uh <laughs> otherwise though i i am not going <coughs> maybe when uh maybe when the stream gets more popular and and we have you know people asking us more people trying to get us there so if that happens then sure i'll be down you know just tell megacon to invite us as guests there you go there you go <laughs> Like that. I don't know how long that'll be, but <laughs> optimism. <laughs> One door. All right, let's see. Where did I put? Oh yeah, it fell down. I'm not going up again, so it's just gonna stay down for now. Let's see. <laughs> Sounds good, you guys. We will plan to convene. And hang out. I just gotta see if I can make enough money to get tickets. <laughs> I like it. We can do this. All right, guys. What do you think? So, hmm. We'll draw and have fun all the time. I like it. Good. That sounds like a solid plan, you guys. Hmm. What kind of like background, like color, do you think I should do? Maybe like a. I can't just like it like that, so you can scan in. Scan in to do what? To make digital. Just feels weird with a lot of empty space. Oh, okay. Well, you want to put a background on there, then put a background on there. <coughs> mm, pardon me. Well, no, I was just thinking of doing like a square, like part of it. Yeah. With parts sticking out and just do a solid color. Oh, right, go ahead. And then, uh, do it. Now I'm second guessing myself, John. Belltown? What's Belltown? My town of more. I'm kind of spacing out right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, hmm. Yeah, no, I guess. Thank you very much, Breeze. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Oh, wait, I forgot about something. What do you have? I don't even know. Wait, I think I do. Everybody, calm down.
Here's the Alex. Yeah. Look, Alex, okay? It takes a long time to draw stuff, okay, kiddo? <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not freaking out. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm being cool, bro. <laughs> you gotta get that bunny on the shirt, you know, because that's, that's what I'm talking about. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess for now we'll call it. What do you guys think? You guys think you want me to digitize this and like make it into a print or something? Comment below. I'm still kind of wrapping my head around if I want to do that kind of stuff just yet. There's a lot to do. That's pretty involved. So I got to know that people really want to see stuff like what I'm drawing on the streams turn into prints before I can start investing money into doing it. But if you guys comment and let me know if you i really got to get a tiny vacuum look at all this like eraser dust it's, oh yeah i'm the salt <laughs> bay but i'm a racer bay oh yeah, <laughs> yeah vacuum over there. Woo. yeah we turn yeah we turned stitch into venom that was a fun okay well I'll see if I could turn turn this into a digital print. Color it up again, redo the inks, clean it up. I may do that. Maybe do a whole series of them. Who knows? Who knows? So what do you think, guys? Only one thing left to do. Today is what now? Uh, February 25th. Thank you for the 10 score. Yay. Yeah. I knew I wasn't going to get a 10 out of 10 diving, so I figured this would be the best way. <laughs> 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 See, for me, dying, diving would be actually dying because I just think um, <laughs> I don't float. Yeah, we, we use uh, straw pole and other things to do poles, but... It's just a matter of having enough time in the week to figure out what the topic's going to be and then also post it so people have a chance to vote. So if you guys want to comment and like send us, you know, send us suggestions on the Facebook page or on any of the social media pages that we post to Instagram, all that feel free to send us either a direct message or you could comment on any of the drawings I do during the week and you can let us know if you have feedback for potential posts. So if you guys want to see us do something live, Hit me up, let me know, and we'll add it to the list of um, potential challenges. I do these mashups because, one, they challenge me to be able to interpret a character. Plus, it, get, it helps me do multiple genres together, um, which helps because there's a lot of fans that like one thing but don't necessarily like something else. So if you can kind of combine things, um, it makes things interesting. So, um, but yeah, like I said, no, this has been... Widowmaker, the purple lady? Is that what you're... <laughs> no, the purple lady. Okay. Thank you, Tiff. <laughs> okay. So we'll go ahead and we'll start trying to plan for the next draw poll then. And try to be more, like, on it for the week. But you guys, you guys want to see another Kingdom Hearts character done like this as Widowmaker? Is that what you guys are suggesting right now? Is that what's going down? I'll make this, like, a three-part three-part series or something maybe <laughs> rare name says yes so, well then keep guys if you guys want to send us a direct message or anything like that with your votes for what you want to see next week if you want to see Widowmaker go ahead and, and either send us a message for it or comment on the Facebook page for when I post this image you can let us know um, like what you'd like to see next week if you want to see us do another Kingdom Hearts mashup like this. And we'll go ahead and prep for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Devin, we get it. <laughs> it's Widowmaker's face. Yes. It's <laughs> He's like, purple lady. She's purple. <laughs> see? She's purple. 
we appreciate it breeze you're gonna you're gonna hang hang with us here on the streams and we hope to have you all um here again next time we really do appreciate the support you guys hanging out and um you know i want to thank you again uh and I, i'm really excited to keep doing this J jevin oh my god <laughs> um but yeah no seriously though do appreciate you guys just hanging out with us feedback all that stuff we really want to make this a big big jump to doing this regularly um this year so really appreciate your support um if you guys like uh parodies things like that too one way you can support the page if you want um we do have just joshdraws.com where we're uploading new t-shirt designs with fan arts all kinds of things like that that we do um this is actually one of them it's the incredible puff uh, i don't know if you guys can see it but it's jigglypuff as the hulk this is one of my favorite ones um we do a lot of fun mashups like that too on shirts though so if you guys need you know need new new shirts for conventions or just for fun and you want to support the page feel free to check that stuff out um but other than that like i said thank you again and um we hope to see you guys next week thank you for tuning in john thank you as always for helping always. And, uh, keep drawing guys peace out